Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and uh, to answer a few more questions as we are in the week where technically we should see the Windows 10 of May 2020 update on our PCs. There are some questions that people of course are asking. One is how long will this take to install? Well, it depends on your PC. It depends. Do you have a single a, a um, solid state drive? SSD or do you have a regular hard drive uh, the speed of your PC how old it is and so on so for people this will be in two phases first what's gonna happen is once you click that download and install button in the Windows update it's gonna actually in here tell you what phase it is going through so it's gonna start by telling you uh, you know okay downloading once it's downloaded, you'll see something here that's going to say installing and it's going to progress. When that is happening, because that's one of the things that a lot of people have a hard time removing their focus on. A lot of people are just like, well, you know, it's at 34 percent and um, I'm waiting. You don't have to wait while it's doing whatever it's doing here. OK, you can use your PC. Just do whatever you need to do. You know, you can even, you know, close the page of the updates. It continues doing it in the background. That phase is the longest phase generally for everybody because that's the phase where it's preparing its install for the PC so that it's the shortest time possible that you will have, you know, your PC will be actually installing it in a, that you can't use it. That's the biggest problem. People tend to stay on that page and do nothing. Don't worry. Whatever you do on your PC, it's not impacting really the install itself. You can go on the web, you can do whatever work you have to do. Yes, your PC might be a little slower, but it's still going to be usable. You can still continue using it. So stop looking at that percentage. It doesn't matter. Leave it doing what it has to do. When it actually does go to the end, that's where you'll have a little pop-up. There's going to be a message that's going to pop up. It's going to tell you, well, you know, you need to restart your PC now. That phase is when you can't use your PC. But that phase is usually shorter. So that first phase where you can still use your PC can last for some hours. Some computers out there will take a few hours in that phase. If it's stuck at a percentage point, don't freak out. It doesn't matter. Sometimes it can be stuck at a percentage for an hour and a half then suddenly continues and does something else. It's not very important. If after, you know, five or six hours, uh, it's still not going to the phase of, uh, of, of wanting to restart, then you might start thinking something's not right. But, you know, if for one hour, two hour, three hours, even four hours, it does something and you see that it's slowly progressing, just leave it, do what it has to do. And like I said, that phase, it doesn't have, in a slow and old PC, it might have an impact. But for newer PCs, you'll see little impact. You'll be able to use your PC and do pretty much what you want. And that's what I do when I install Insider Previews, which install in the same manner, actually. Then you'll have that restart phase where now you got to wait until it installs. That phase usually lasts less than an hour for most people. Once again, it's variable. Some people will have it last longer than an hour. Some people will have it last, um, you know, just 20 minutes, 15 minutes. It depends, once again, on the type of hard drive you have, the type of PC you have, and so on. The download size, once again, a lot of people wanting to download the download. I mentioned it in uh, the last video about the May 2020 update. It's roughly 4 gigabytes download. Um, but sometimes if it has to re-download or has some problems, it can happen that sometimes it takes more. But it's a roughly 4 gigabyte download for the uh, install of the May 2020 update. Why is it so long? Well, because the feature update of the version 2004 or the May 2020 update is a update that is actually major. It is technically a complete reinstall of Windows without really you knowing about it. So that's why it's very long to install. But don't worry, the next version this fall, 20H2, that is going to be 
much quicker. That's a cumulative update that will be added. It's like a service pack in Windows 7. So that will be much faster. This is going to be slow. One thing about next update, because uh, I saw somebody post, well, if the hour, next one is just a cumulative update, I'm going to do that one. It's going to be faster. It won't, because if you skip this and want to install the fall update, the 20H2, you'll have to go through the full install phase because it has to install this and the cumulative update over it. So you're not gaining any speed. It still needs to go through this version. It won't call it this version. It's going to download the next version. But in reality, you'll have the full install phase of 20 of the version 2004 and then the cumulative update. So, you know, uh, if you're waiting to the fall because it's going to be faster, it's not like that. It's, it doesn't work like that. That's pretty much what's happening. Uh, a lot of you have been saying, well, how come we don't hear anything about it? Well, you know, that's Microsoft for you. We uh, always talk about how they are a little too secretive on certain things. Well, that's an example here. They should have mentioned a couple of weeks back, you know. Okay, uh, you know, May 28th, this is when it's coming. So uh, it's, it's weird the way that Microsoft does things, usually. And uh, last but not least, I do have one comment. Do you think it could be possible that it's not happening this week? Everything's possible with Microsoft. But all indications are that it technically is Thursday. But, you know, if it's in June, it's in June. That's all. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.